Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Brothers and sisters and dear friends May the peace and blessings of God, God Almighty be upon you all Now today we're going to be talking about a very important topic Sliding Sliding is known for many things You could, the definition for slide is on the screen as you can see You can slide on ice You can slide on snow You can slide on a slippery road But when you slide into a man's DMs Things can get heated And can end up really wrong So guys, today's topic is going to be about sliding um, sliding into people's DMs. Now what I mean by that is a lot of the time the culprits of this is mainly men. Men are known to go into sisters DMs, messages, I love you, there are all this kind of nonsense, all these kind of promises just to get one thing. But do brothers or men get sisters sliding in or girls sliding into their DMs? Yes they do and this is what I'm going to be talking to you about today and I'm going to show you some of the experiences that I have had and how I've dealt with it. And I'm going to be talking to you about why this happens, I'm going to be talking about the psychology of man, how a man can be affected by this. I'm going to talk a bit about my personal experience and some evil women, and there's evil men as well. Now guys, first thing that I want to start off with is Allah and his messenger. Yes? Okay. Because this is what we try to live by and those are the ones, uh, Allah and his messenger is who we obey. Allah has told us very clearly and the Prophet ﷺ has said that the biggest thing that I fear from my Ummah is the fitna of women. Yeah? And also we know in the Quran Allah SWT has said that the fitna, the, the plotting and planning of shaitan is daif, is weak. And the plotting and planning of a woman is adheem. Now, daif means weak, adheem means great. Now, this does not mean women are like evil okay this does not make women evil it's talking about certain types of women and if they want to plot that they can plot and meaning that a man's biggest weakness is a woman so when you are weak to something this doesn't make the person like their gender like they're evil this that it doesn't mean that it means a woman if you have a weakness towards ice creams it doesn't make ice cream Evil. It just means you have a weakness towards ice cream. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And no, I'm not bloody trying to say ice cream and women are... No, I'm not trying to go for the lollipop example. Okay. So, <coughs> we know that also Allah says to us in the Quran that the first calamity or the first fitna to hit Banu Israel, the children of Israel, was women. Yeah? And we know from Yusuf alayhi salam that he, he even mentioned in the Quran that if it wasn't for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he may have fallen for that. And this goes for every single one of us. As men, wallahi, these messages that we get, don't think we, it doesn't, you know, it's not a fitna for us. You know, it's not a thing. Of course it is. But we seek refuge in Allah and we ask Allah to make us among those who are protected from this and do not for the, uh, fall for the traps. So, cutting the long story short, let's go straight to to slide in, yeah, into the DMs. And let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna react to it. Okay, now the first one that I got, not the first one, one of the ones that I got, I get a lot. Yeah, I get a lot. I've, I've had people sending me nudes. I've had people sending me all kinds of disgusting stuff, saying really disgusting stuff, etc. This is one that I received, and like most of the time, to be honest, I believe they're fake, probably fake accounts or just sisters with evil agendas, which I'll, which I'll come to later. Ali, will you marry me? Sounds romantic. Assalamu alaikum, sister. I'm already married. Oh, she drops evidence here, indirect. You're, you are allowed more than one wife. Yes, we know in Islam we are allowed more than one wife. And alhamdulillah, it's a practice that is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's done not only by Muslims. A lot of non-Muslims do it as, as well. Like uh, uh, Christians or Jews. Or Mormons do it as well. And to be honest, there's even non-Muslims who are not religious do it. They just call their... In Islam, we have a second wife. They tend to call it side chicks and mistresses on the side that they use and abuse. Islam has come to regulate it in a right way and give the second wife or the third wife or the fourth wife a right uh, to treat her honorably and marry her by going to her parents and not using her for material gains. So alhamdulillah, it's a practice that we... Alhamdulillah, you can say, okay, as a man, yeah, I'm happy about it. No. Whatever it may be, whatever it's from Allah's messenger, we're here and we obey. And obviously this doesn't mean um, that you brothers go, yeah, but brother, just try to fix up, do your salah, pay your zakat, do the fart first before you come to the sunnah actions, inshallah. Yeah? So brothers, don't get excited. And also the Prophet wasallam said, a man he has, who has two wives and treats one better than the other on the day of judgment will come leaning on one side. So this is not a matter that's a joke that you can say, oh, I'm going to get a second wife, yeah? Just a reminder. Anyways, I went on a tantrum because of that. 
The next one that I got was, um, I think I'm in love with you. I just need your help, but I'll speak to you soon, inshallah. Stay safe. Okay. Obviously, sister, you're using inshallah if Allah wills, and then you're saying I'm in love with you. You can't get a haram, say something haram with halal on top. It's not right. I understand your point of view, but it's not the right way to approach it. You know, that is not the right way to go about it. Okay, so next one. Do I get a second chance? Wa alaikum salam. With what? I said. Getting to know you. Know me for what? For marriage. I'm already married. Drops the evidence again. But you can have a second. It's not that easy. I'm not buying a pair of tomatoes. Oh, you're just going to buy another tomato. I'm not saying women are tomatoes, by the way, guys. Please, just let's just be... You know, I don't want sisters to learn a mad one. Especially feminist ones. Now, this is a sister who... This is some... Sister who's been stalking me, yeah? Okay, and I've warned her many times, yeah? And I'm doing this video for great reason. I'm not exposing anyone, yeah? Ali, I need you to acknowledge me. I'm worried that I'm going to have another year of waiting for something that won't happen. I didn't see anything's happening. Job, I also don't want to go back to my job, but I don't want to be at home. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I love you, Ali. Ali just want to be able to sleep and not feel so jittery and hyper alert. I feel like I'm going crazy. May Allah make your face easy, sister. And this one of the ones I got, Asalaamu Alaikum, how can I help? So she sent something. And she was like, how are you? Yeah, how are you? The way she spelled the how, either it's a spelling mistake, or how it looks like you're from a different country with a fake account, you know, H-O-W, not H-A-W, not how. It's how are you? I said, good, then she sent a heart, okay? Um, why are you sending me that? Yeah, so sometimes you have to be a bit firm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Because to show that, like, we're not here to mess around, I'm not here to, you know, flirt with you or something. Another one that I got. Hi, love heart, hello, bye, yeah, get lost, leave me alone. And uh, others that we get, <coughs> probably fake accounts like I said. Hello, I said okay, hi, how can I help? How are you doing? Good. Another one that I got. Assalamu alaikum, I love you, good night. I love you Ali, I was crying today, I love you, I love you. May Allah want to protect you. I mean, if we believe in Allah, we should do things the right way. So as you can see guys, that... These are some of the messages that I get, yeah? And to be honest, I know some of them are trolls. I know some of them might be genuine uh, in a way where sometimes you do get people that are a bit obsessive uh, for whatever reason it may be. And I'm not here to mock them or something like that. Like, you know, just may Allah give you someone that's good for you. You get what I'm trying to say? But the thing here that I want to mention is that a lot of the time, people actually have evil agendas. But there's actually sisters out there who actually do this on purpose. They actually do this on uh, purpose. Some sisters, yeah? Not all. We don't want to generalize. We don't say every sister is the same. And these sisters, what they do is they have an agenda. So whatever it may be, they might be um, hurt for some reason. Someone did something, whatever it may be. So they hate all men, yeah? They hate all men. And what they do is specifically us, they try to like, oh yeah, I'm going to, you know, they're hypocrites or they're like these, these dawah guys or whatever it may be, just in general, not just dawah guys, yeah? So what they do is they try to trap us and they send these dirty messages, these dirty pictures, these filthy things or even try in subtle ways. They'll message our oh, brother, I need advice and we try to advise and then they'll try to add a little bit of lol and a bit of smiley face and a little bit of this, that, just to slowly, you know, and they're plotting. And let me tell you guys something, yeah? Wallahi, you guys, I call like you guys are evil people. You guys are the most evil people ever. You know why? Because you know very clearly, as a man, look, I'm a man, yeah? And as a man, a lot of people think, oh, if you're a religious figure, this, that, all, automatically you're immune to the fitna of women. Women don't affect you at all. This is absolutely nonsense and rubbish. I'm still a man. When I start doing dawah or start doing whatever, I don't all of a sudden be like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, so, whew. Yeah, I don't, I don't need women. I don't care about women. No, I'm still a human being. I'm still going to be weak. But at the same time, that does not give anyone an excuse, especially those in the dawah, especially who's doing religious stuff, to take advantage of your platform and mess sisters around. No way. It doesn't. All I'm just pointing out is that men are weak and there's sisters who are doing this to take advantage, as well as there is brothers who do certain things take advantage of sisters it works both ways but sometimes it's made out to be that the corporates are only brothers most of the time it is men are known for this 
But most of the time, people make it seem like it's only men. No, we suffer from this. We have evil sisters. I'll call them evil sisters, yeah, who do this. And you guys are more to blame if you message somebody, whoever it may be, and you're talking to them in a flirtatious way or this, that knowing very well that they are weak to this, they are weak to women in general, any man, no shadow of a doubt, you are more to blame. You know why? Because you are messaging, messaging them with a plot and plan to trick them, to expose them, yeah? That man you're messaging, if he falls for your trap, he's done it out of weakness and desire. Weakness and desire, which you should feel Allah and should not do in the first place anyway. He's done that out of weakness and desire, yeah? You are more to blame for plotting and planning. You both are wrong. But the fact that you did that on purpose, you are more wrong, yeah? So that's why, for example, in Islam, we have something called, if you cause somebody, if you insult somebody's mother, you get a sin, yeah? Okay. You get the sin of it's like you're insulting your own mother. You know why? Because when you insult that person's mother, they're going to end up insulting your mother back. And you're the reason, you're the cause of that. If you did not say that, he would not say that. So you are more to blame. Same way Allah tells us not to insult the idols, the pagan gods. Because if you do that, they're going to end up insulting Allah with ignorance. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Their gods are nothing. This type by insulting Allah, Allah is the true God. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So that's why Allah has told us not to insult other gods. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So that's why, same thing with the brothers. When you instigate and trying to plot and plan against the sister to trap her and use her abuser, wallahi, Allah will, you are more in trouble because you use that sister's emotions and her weaknesses to drag her in. You use that. If you didn't do that, that would have not happened. Both parties are to blame, but you are to blame to plot and plan against it. So I just want to say that fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the sisters that are watching this and trying to trap us. Because should I tell you something? Yeah? When these things happen, I've got somebody on Snapchat sending me nudes. Yeah? And I told them, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I, well, I said, what are you getting out of doing this? I said, as a female, is this the only thing that you have to offer? Your body? You're a human being. Don't you have a mind? Don't you have an intellect? Don't you have a personality? A character? Something good about you? Why do you just treat, uh, trust your backside and your uh, chest size or whatever it may be? Do you not have more to offer? As a woman, you are a human being. Don't let society turn you into some sexual, like all you can offer is the way your body looks and your lips look this big and that big and you're changing your body. What happened is, I think they FaceTimed me by accident, yeah? And then what I did is I accepted it just to see. And when I did that, I screenshotted it. And they start crying and they start, please brother, don't expose me. I said, I am, just, just to scare them. I said, I'm going to make this public to warn people against people like you. And they start crying, they start, I'm sorry. So there's evil people with evil nature. So brothers and sisters, this was just a little message from me to you guys to be careful. Yeah, brothers and sisters, you know a man's weakness is a female. Fear Allah and don't use that against it. Don't use that against him because you'll be accountable on the day of judgment. And... When it comes to sliding, please try not to slide towards my DMs because you're going to slide right back out. You know what I'm saying? And that's about it. That's about it, guys. Take care. Goodbye.